Since 2011, the Syrian war has forced millions of people to flee their homes. Today, more than 3.5 million refugees live in Turkey, more than in any other country in the world. These refugees not only come from Syria, but also from Iraq, Iran and Afghanistan. Language barriers have complicated the refugees' stay in Turkey. Not knowing Turkish can complicate simple daily activities for both parents and children. When it comes to good healthcare, access to medical centres and hospitals can become a matter of life and death. Over the years, refugees have struggled to communicate with Turkish doctors and nurses when seeking medical treatment. Such a barrier can add unnecessary stress to already difficult situations. For example, when a child is sick or an elderly refugee needs medication. To help refugees overcome such barriers and make their lives easier inside Turkey, the Turkish Ministry of Health with EU funding is implementing a project called Sihat, where 178 migrant health centres and 10 community mental health centres will be opened, in addition to many more services to improve the healthcare access of refugees. In these centres, Syrian doctors and nurses will treat patients. عمل كطبيبة عامة في مركز صحة المهاجرين في تركيا بدأت الحكومة التركية على العمل لوضع قوانين لسماح للعاملين الصحيين السوريين للعمل في تركيا بدأنا العمل في مراكز الصحة الأولية لخدمة المهاجرين السوريين وغير السوريين نستطيع تقديم الخدمة بطلاقة أو بحرية لأننا نستطيع التكلم باللغة العربية مع المرضى فلذلك المرضى سعيدون جدا بتلقي الخدمة الطبية من العاملين الصحيين السوريين the two-story extended migrant health centre in the Altindag area is called Barbi Shifa, or Door to Health. It is located in Ankara's most densely populated refugee neighbourhood and has been open since September 2017 to provide primary health care services in addition to gynaecology, dentistry, paediatrics, family planning and psychosocial counselling. The Migrant Health Centre is one of 178 planned medical facilities that will serve refugees in Turkey. These centres are financed by the EU through the Sihat project, a 300 million euro grant to the Turkish Ministry of Health. للسوريين للمهاجرين صرنا نروح على المركز السوري ناخذ العلاج من هنيك والمعاينه اجراء الفحوص الطبيه بشكل كامل The program is a win-win for Syrian patients and health professionals. Among Turkey's 3.5 million refugees, there were many unemployed doctors and nurses that haven't been able to use their skills due to administrative and language restrictions. These migrant health centres offer not just health services in Arabic, but have also created 1,500 jobs for certified Syrian doctors and nurses and health mediators that have been unable to work until now. قبل ما يعني ما اشتغل في مركز باب الشفاء لم يكن لدي إذن عمل في تركيا وهذا الوضع كان جدا مؤلم. لأن اللاجئين كان لهم حاجة لعملي ومساعداتي الطبية أما الآن أنا سعيدة جدا بعودتي لممارسة عملي ومهنتي وبعملي في في المركز. In order to integrate Syrian medical workers into the Turkish health system, the Ministry of Health has been running apprenticeship-styled programs for prospective nurses and doctors. In such programs, Syrian health professionals work side by side with Turkish doctors to demonstrate their medical experience and learn how to navigate the Turkish health database. قبل البدء بافتتاح المشروع عند التخطيط لافتتاح المشروع قمنا باجراء تدريبات مع الاطباء الاتراك كنا سعيدون جدا الان نستطيع ان نقدم الخدمه الصحيه للمهاجرين حسب النظام والسيستم التركي نستطيع كتابه الوصفات وتحويل المرضى الى المشفى نستطيع تعقيب المرضى حسب النظام التركي وتعلمنا تقريبا النظم الأساسية للعمل في تركيا صار المعاملة أفضل روح على المراكز الصحية الطبيب يفهم علينا الشكاية ونحن نفهم عليه طريقة العلاج وكم حباي والوصفة والراشتة ونحسن نقرأها بشكل كامل ومرتاحين كتير بهالمراكز هاي التعامل في المراكز 
ومشكور جميع القائمين على العمل. The Altinda Refugee Health Center receives 200 patients a day. This funding is part of the 6 billion euro package that the EU facility for refugees in Turkey have dedicated to improving refugees' lives. At the end of the day, no one can say when refugees will be able to return to their countries. But through healthcare programs like the one in Altinda, we can rest assured that refugees will be well served throughout their time in Turkey. <laughs> Altyazı M.K.